to me. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I was a bit pumped. Initially, I was uh, writing some questions for okay. uh, Dave and you guys in here about what people can expect on ZBrush front. And we saw the update on iPad. Yes. Which is huge. Yeah. I, wa I was just playing uh, with ZBrush on MacBook. Okay. That was quite impressive in terms of performance, but iPad? Yeah. And uh, yeah. We, we tried it on iPad here. It works. Could you could you speak a little bit about the interface? Because that's, sure. that, that's one of the big yeah. cha changes. That's the big in change, yeah. We had to take a look at the idea of, you're coming on our 25th anniversary of ZBrush itself, right? Yeah. You got 25 years plus of code on a big monitor, and we got, how do we get into small things? So we had to really take a look at that, rethink the UI, rethink of how things can be yeah. done with an iPad, also having the ability with touch, having the ability of things that we can do with gestures, and really taking yeah. advantage of that, right? So that's how we started building the process. We wanted to also keep a little bit of a linkage to the original desktop, so that when people are going from iPad to desktop, it still has some familiarity. But being that you're on an iPad, smaller screen space, we had to think about it in a way of just giving the tools that are available to you as an artist or a user that we feel like this is you're going to use the most yeah. and then get it more streamlined and simple and have it so it's easier accessible right in a touch a couple clicks with your finger and you get what you want you get what you need to con continue on through your sculpting i see yeah you did, did a great great job oh, with, the, with the ui yeah the team's so been the, great. The, the questions i have probably let's start with the functionality is, yeah. the, is this like a copy of the desktop ZBrush. It's pretty much, our goal is one-to-one. -one. So if you're going to be in the ZBrush iPad, you're getting the same features, you're getting the same ZBrush that you're getting on the desktop. The brush system's the same. That was a key thing for us, that we had to have it feel the same. That's what ZBrush is really well known for, is yeah. the brush system. Polygon count is important to us. We want it people is. to get to millions of polygons. Yeah. So we're excited to say that on iPads, if you have an iPad like an M2 or an M4, it's like at least a terabyte, you can get to around 90 million per mesh on the iPads. I see. So That's the impressive. first ever model ever sculpted, fully sculpted and painted on the ZBrush iPad, is 147 million polygons across about, I think it's 12, 15 meshes. That's impressive, yeah. really impressive. And it runs smooth. It, it does, yeah. it really does. Yeah. Um, another question, uh, how do you store your presets, alphas, your IMMs, things yeah. like that? It's a great question. So again, thinking about what users like to do, customization became really important to us. Yeah. And we, you can actually have customization to have your own journey on the iPad. You can customize the UI as well on the iPad, but then there are thousands of brushes that people have made over the years you can bring all those brushes in. We have a folder that you just plop them in and then they will just show up right on the iPad. Any alpha that you want to bring in, is, any is texture it, brush. Is it like files on iPad? So yeah. Similar concept. Same exact file that you put on the desktop, yeah. you put on the iPad. So if you've got a brush that you made as an IMM brush that you made for the desktop, same exact file, just put it in the folder and then it'll always be there. We'll create a user uh, category in our brush picker because yeah. it's all now categorized with folders. So we'll automatically make a user folder and then it's just right there. And then, because again, the bottom bar, you can click and Brush, have it yeah. down there and it's always down there. Okay. And you never have to even go to the picker if you don't want to. Yeah, well, iPad is a tool that's yeah. for convenience, basically. Yeah. And Sculptic right. is one of one of that. I mean, my wife enjoys Pro Pen, Pencil. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm doing that, definitely. Nice. Yes. Uh, logical question. Do you think the desktop version will become obsolete over time or... No, or, I don't think or so. Or it's no. still a heavy lifter. Yeah, it's still a heavy lifter, right? You got to think about even the powerful the iPad is and how amazing it is. The desktop technology also grows, right? You can get already a terabyte of RAM, for yeah. example, right? Yeah, we the do have stations. Two fifty six, like, like, like the standard now is like what thirty two gigs of RAM is like yeah. the standard on a desktop, really, right? So the more RAM, the processors, your video cards, all that keeps growing as well. So what it's, I'm excited it, about is our future. To right now on the desktop, you can do hundred million polygons per mesh, but where we're at with the technology. Can I start pushing that and get to 500 million? Yeah, especially, million. especially important with the Udium workflows yeah. when you start baking stuff yeah. out, like all that. Yeah, yeah, notorious. You're gonna need, yeah. you're gonna need a strong system to yeah. do things like that. Any, anyway, I, pr I predict this version to become the primary thing, and then if you need the more complex output for the end of the project, you yeah. just switch to the desktop. Yeah. So what's nice is we were thinking about this. So what we've done is our export our export menu is also the saving menu 
our import is not just import, right? It's the load. Yeah. So what I mean by that is I can go to a 3D model and I can load an OBJ, Maya file, GoZ, USDZ, ZPR, and ZTL through here. But right. what we did is we made our, a new GoZ. Okay. This is going to give you the ability. So if I wanted to send this to a desktop, I would say export. And then this is now searching for desktops so that are on the have... same network. It's all network driven. So it's gotta be in the same network. We don't have internet here, so we'll pop anything up, but it'll find a computer and you just tap it and it'll send. Network to, like internet or like internet network, yeah, yeah, your Wi Fi or anything like that. Would yeah. there be any benefits for Mac users for that workflow? It'll work win Mac to Windows, Windows, it doesn't matter if you're yeah. on a Windows machine or a Mac machine. Obviously, the benefit you have with the Mac is you could use AirDrop and things like that, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we have a ton of Windows users, so we need to come up with something Mostly, that I gave them, yeah, you're, yeah, a large percentage are Windows users. So we needed them to come up with. Hey, how do I get my skull from the iPad to my desktop really fast, really easy? And this is what we came up with is just select the computer you want to go to, click it, and then we'll send it to that computer. And then vice versa, ZBrush desktop also was updated to be compatible with the iPad. In the desktop version, there's a new button that says GoZ to iPad. And then whatever you're working on the desktop, we'll send to, and it'll give the list of iPads. You click the one you want to send it to, and it sends it to the iPad. It's also super convenient because from the perspective of sculpting process itself, obviously sculptors don't use mouses. No. Proper ones. Not usually. And no. if you don't have a tablet, I have a tablet screen. Yeah. It's quite big. It's bulky. Yeah. But this solves all those problems on the go. Right. I mean, we're moving towards mobile everything. Yes. It's, it's, yeah. it's success. Yeah. And I'm a big fan of this also, the sketchboard product too. Oh, it's, it's like a Yeah, it's like a board. Stand. It's like a stand that you can actually position in multiple locations. So where I all the holes are. I usually take it out and put it on my lap and the rods can go right in there, save in there. Yeah. So I just put this on my lap, like on the couch or in my bed or wherever I am. And don't screw the screen yeah, with you. Yeah, I can hover like this. Yeah, set. yeah. So I've been using this a lot. Where's this the, is, where, where people can get that from? Uh, sketchboardpro.com. Mm -hmm. It's not ours. But yeah. they, they're making some special ones that have ZBrush model, like skins on the outside and everything. So it's just a nice way to have it here at the booth too. Have you, have you been with them uh, with the ZBrush from Pixelogic times? Yeah, so I've been developing involved in development for 17 years. Yeah. So I was one of, yes. So I've been there for a long time. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, would the, what what you guys think? Like it's uh, better for you to be part of that. Oh, it's, it's fantastic, family. right? You yeah. got to look at the iPad version where it's at was partially because we're Max on, and I have yeah. more resources. I have more people I can work with. More people I can so talk to. More frontiers open. There's more. You. There's many more frontiers. Like this is just the beginning. Like we've got the team's got a bunch of ideas that they want to do. Now that we have an iPad and a desktop, how can we move those both forward together? But then there's also different things on an iPad that maybe we can take advantage of that you just don't have. Yeah. Like I can pick this up and there's a camera. Cool, Start doing yeah. things with that. I got the camera the other way too, like oh, looking at my face. Virtual maybe. Sculpting. Yeah, like we have Moves, for example, that's on iPad app that you can look at people's faces. You can make rigs from like photo, I mean, I from see. a video, yeah. right? There's a lot of possibilities now that we also can do. Uh, besides also the feature sets that we're thinking of, what we could do feature-wise in ZBrush as well, it's really, opening up a lot right now. I think the yeah. iPad, being on ZBrush on the iPad has opened up even more ideas to us for development, yeah. for sculpting. It's, or rendering. It's, 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 it's superb. It's, yeah. it's, I encourage anyone who has iPad, it's for free. There is start, you can start for free. Yep. Yeah, for anybody. To, get it for try free. it for free, be impressed yep. and start using ZBrush. I know a lot of young people who are dreaming to you know, start creature designs and I encourage yep. them always to yep. try ZBrush. Yep. And now it's even more accessible I'm mind blown. ZBrush yeah. on iPad by Maxon. Yes. Super cool. Yes. Paul, thank you so much. Of course.